Hi, and welcome back. I'm so glad you could join me today, learning our letters and our letter sounds. My name's Miss Bridget. I'm a teacher. I've, been, I've taught preschool for many, many years. And over those years, I've taught many children the beginnings of learning to read. And to be able to learn to read, you first have to learn your letters and your letter sounds. So that's what I wanna share with you today. I have a phonics program that's worked great in the past, and I'm happy to share it with you too. Okay, let's keep going. Do you remember what letter we left off with? Let's look. We did the letter V last time. Do you know what comes after V? W, that's right. This is the capital double W and the lowercase w. They look exactly the same as most letters do. One's just bigger than the other and it has a picture of our world. World starts with W. The sign language for the letter W is to put up three fingers. For you, we put up two and they were together. For V, there was still two, but they were apart. And for W, we'll put three up and that makes the sign language for the letter W. Now we have an animal to learn our cheer for our animal to teach us the letter sound of W. Can you think of an animal that starts with the letter W? Hmm, it makes you say wuh, wuh at the beginning. Well, our animal for today is walrus walt. Walruses, they look like very big seals and they have big teeth or tusks that come out of their mouths. And this is a walrus and his name is Walt. Walt starts with a W also. And we'll learn his cheer to learn the sound W makes. Let's put our W up for our sign language. And this is his cheer. W-W for Walrus Walt. Watermelons wonderful. Windy weather, wiggling worms. W for Walrus Walt. And that's his cheer to learn the W sound. Now let's look in our big ABC book and find things that start with a W. See how many there are? So many W words. There's watermelon, whale, walnut, walrus, watering can, a wolf. This is a wombat. That's an unusual animal. And a watch. So many W things. Now what we're gonna do is close the book and then you're gonna try and remember things that start with the letter W for W. Okay, let's close the book and let's see what we're gonna write on. Today, we're gonna write on some water. Water starts with W. Can you think of anything you saw in that book? Can you think of that big green kind of oval shaped fruit that's red on the inside? Right, that's watermelon. Let's write watermelon starts with the letter W, watermelon. Let's write that word on the, on the water. Can you think of anything else? Hmm. What about that animal that lives in the ocean? It's one of, it's the biggest animal on the whole earth. A whale, right. Whale starts with W. Let's think, what is that type of nut called? It's a very big one and round. Walnut. Walnut starts with a W. Let's write walnut on our water. Let's see one more. What animal howls? Howl like that. Wolf, good one. Wolf starts with W. Let's write wolf on our W, on our water. So we have some words that start with the letter W. Now let's look at our rainbow writing page. Remember, you can do this in a notebook on a piece of paper. You can have a grown-up write a capital W and a lowercase w for you, and they can put a little red dot where you would start. That shows us where to start. Look at what a W is. It actually is two Vs hooked together. Remember how we did the letter V last time? If we cover this up, it's the letter V here. And then if we cover this up, it's the letter V here. It looks like two Vs hooked together. So if you practice your Vs, 
Just hook them together and you'll be able to make a W pretty simply. Okay, let's do some rainbow writing. You pick whatever colors you want. And remember, you can do it more than three times. We're just doing it three times here, but you can do it as many times as you want tracing this letter. The first color I picked is green. And we'll start on the dot and we go down and up just like a V, but then we go back down and up it like a second V. And the little W is exactly the same, just smaller. We start on the red dot, we go down and up, and then back down and up. And we've made a big W and a little one. The next color I chose is blue, but you can cho choose any color you want. We're gonna start on the red dot again. We're gonna go down and up, and then down and up. And then with a little W, we do the same. Start on the red dot, down and up, down and up. They're both pointed on the bottom. The last color I chose is, we could call it violet. V, remember V had violet, or you can call it lavender. Let's start on the dot. We'll go down and then up, and then down and then up. And the little one, we go down, up, down, up. You know what we didn't do? We didn't say the letter sound and the sound it makes. Let's do that. Let's do it one more time and do that. W, 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 W is the sound it makes. Now, let's turn the page. And remember, you can draw anything you would like that starts with the letter W. I'm going to draw a big green oval, big green oval. And I'm gonna make it red on the inside. So let's make it red on the inside. And then also, I think I'll make some little black dots for seeds. Do you know what I'm drawing? Little black dots for seeds. It's a fruit. It's a fruit that we talked about for the W, wuh, wuh sound. It's a watermelon. Now you can draw anything you'd like for the letter W, and then it would be neat if you could have a grown up right underneath what it is, or on top or by the side. I am going to write the word watermelon. That is a long word. So I'm going to put it on my lap and draw watermelon. There's the word watermelon, because that's what I drew. So that is our rainbow writing. I would ask my preschoolers all about walruses and they would tell me some interesting facts and I put it together in a book called Children on Safari. So let's hear all about walruses from my preschoolers and then when you learn these things you can share them at home too. Let's see, walruses mostly live in herds. That's a group, it's called a herd. That's from coal. Their tusks are really big teeth. That's what Ryan said. Sawyer said, if they break a tusk, another one doesn't grow back. Let's see, what else? Emma said the baby is a calf. The mama is called a cow and the daddy is called a bull. Maria said they use their tusks to protect themselves from polar bears and killer whales. Jake says they use their tusks for digging up clams and snails to eat. Maria said the mommy climbs up on the ice to have the baby and the baby drinks the mommy's milk. Millie said they stay with their mamas for two years. Charlie said they have a baby every other year. John said they are slow on the land but very fast in water. Evan said they have air pouches in their throat that help keeps their, keeps their head out of the water. It's kind of like a life jacket on their neck. Will said they have blubber that is fat. It keeps them warm because they swim where it's really cold. And Sunny said they are really good swimmers. My preschoolers have some very interesting information about walruses. And here's a great picture of a walrus and he's up on a rock and he's sunning himself. And you can see his two big teeth 
that are called tusks, right? And remember we learned if one breaks, it doesn't grow back. So some walruses have just one tusk if they broke their tusk off. They like to sunbathe and stay warm in the sun when they get very cold in that cold, cold water. Next, I walked all around and found things that start with the letter W. Wah, wah. And you can do that too after the video is finished. You can do that at home or at your school, in your classroom. I will give you some clues for the things that I found that start with the letter W. Let's see. This is one of the largest animals on Earth. You're right, it is a whale. This whale isn't the biggest whale, but this is also called a killer whale or an orca whale, because it eats meat. That is a whale. Whale starts with W. I have another animal, the one that we're learning about today in the cheer. Do you remember what it is? Right, a walrus. This is a walrus and see those big tusks? That is a walrus for the W letter. Let's see what else we have. Okay, this is a watch. Watch helps you tell what time it is. You wear it on your wrist, and wrist actually starts with W also. And then when you need to know what time it is, you just look and it tells you. Watch starts with W. Let's see what else we have. We we'll have something very heavy. This is to help your muscles get very strong. Some people exercise with these. They're called weights. This is a weight. You can lift it with your arms to get your arm muscle to be very strong. Weight starts with W. That's another W. And I have one more thing that didn't fit in my bag. It is called a watering can. I have lots of plants because I love plants and I water them with my watering can. You put the water and sometimes you put plant food in here with the water and you water your plants. Watering can starts with W. So those are some fun W things and you can look around and find your own W things at home or at school. Now let's do the W cheer one more time so we try and learn it even better. Do you remember his name? Walrus Walt, that's right. And his sign language, right, W. That's the sign language for W. Now let's do his cheer. W -w for Walrus Walt. Watermelons wonderful. Windy weather wiggling worms. W -w for Walrus Walt, right. And if all you remember is W for Walrus Walt, that's great because you've got the letter sound in there. W, and it will help you remember. Now let's look at what we'll be doing next time we finish W. Do you know what letter comes after W? Let's look and see. After W comes X, and X makes a really funny sound. It makes a K and S sound together. Remember, K is K and S is S. So it's K, K, like you're putting the K and S right together, K. And let me tell you, there aren't many things that start with an X. That'll be really tricky. And also, do you know what? You don't have to think of an animal because X didn't have a cheer. Can you believe it? X doesn't have a cheer, but my preschoolers and I, we came up with an animal that starts with an X because we were, we were sad that we weren't able to do a cheer for X. So see if you can think of an animal. We only came up with one that starts with the letter X. See if you can figure out what that is before we come next time. But unfortunately, we don't have a cheer that goes with it. I'll just show you a picture of them. Okay, until next time, I appreciate you being here and I appreciate you joining me and I love teaching you your letters and letter sounds and I look forward to doing it again next time with the letter X. Bye!